Notice one thing here. The cutting plane is parallel to the highlighted generator of the cone as theta and alpha here are equal. Because of this, only one of the two cones of a double cone is cut by the cutting plane in this case. In this case, the conic formed is called a parabola. Now, keeping the cutting angle constant and equal to the semi-vertical angle, start varying the distance of the plane from the vertex of the cone. You can see that as the cutting plane gets away from the common vertex of the double cone, the parabola gets wider. That is to say, as the distance of the cutting plane from the common vertex increases, the parabola gets wider and vice versa. If the cutting angle is equal to the semi-vertical angle of the cone and D is reduced to zero, then in this case, we just get a line. 